have a, um, a session that uh, is a bit specific, but uh, um, if you ever make your R by conductor package, you'll probably you'll run into these type of things. Um, and so, well, I know that not all of you have R packages or by conductor packages yet. Um, it could play a role down down in, uh, down the line in the future. Um, so for the notes today, um, we're gonna basically use the BioCities package, uh, which we have been talking about in, in a lot of recent sessions. Um, so there's the list of BioC, uh, previous BioCities sessions keeps growing. Um, um, so, um, but there's a few videos that I haven't uploaded yet. Um, so first of all, we're gonna go over a recent change that uh, happened uh, two days ago um, on Bioconductor. And that's, they finally decided to change the, um, the default branch that they have on their uh, Git server. Um, um, and they decided to change it from master, which used to be the default uh, on Git and also on GitHub, to now the develop. Um, and they chose develop because it um, it matches uh, the Bioconductor develop branch um, instead of main, which is the name that um, uh, GitHub decided to change to. And all of this comes back to like a few years ago where people started to notice like, why are we calling the default branch master. Um, um, and so people were concerned that like, okay, like, why are we using like a slave, a slave trade related term or labor related terms. Um, but uh, it took a long time, a lot of discussions. Some people were not happy, like, because this involves, you have like a lot of packages, this involves changing uh, things in a lot of packages. Um, but uh, if, if we read the blog post about it, um, we actually made it quite easy, uh, all these steps. And so first of all, they say like, to make your life easier, you should probably, if, you're, uh, if you have your package on GitHub, which um, as far as I know, all of us, that have um, our bioconductor packages have them on GitHub. Then the easiest thing is to also change the default name of, of that branch on GitHub. Uh, otherwise, you might have like a master branch on GitHub that is linked to the develop branch on the bioconductor Git uh, uh, host, uh, and then you, you might you know end up being confused. So I know, for example, uh, like. This had happened before with like the master and main branches. Is that sometimes like Luis or Josh had to like use some specific syntax to say like, hey, my master branch on GitHub is linked to the main branch on Bioconductor um, or things like that. Um, uh, and so the, the easiest thing here is like, hey, like they so said, like just change the, the default branch on GitHub. Uh, GitHub will uh, do a lot of things and they even give you the commands where you can be like, hey, now your local copy on your laptop, now you can rename the master branch to be called develop. And you can link that um, develop branch, this local develop branch that you have to um, GitHub, which is normally the origin remote uh, with the syntax. And then that way in the future, when you just get pushed, you won't have to do much. Um, uh, uh, so this is the recommended way. Um, if we go to the frequently asked questions, they have quite a bit more information. Um, and so first of all, they, they, they say like, okay, this only really affects developers, maintainers, not users, but a lot of us are actually developers and maintainers. <laughs> um, um, and it only reflects changes on, it, this change is only required on git.bioconductor.org, not on github.com. Uh, but as I said on the previous set, site, it's um, a lot easier if you make this change. Um, 
also on GitHub. Um, and so they go over what are the changes. And then I really don't like the wording of 27.5, which is like, hey, what if I'm an RFC user? And they said, like, well, you should actually be familiar with git commands on the terminal. <laughs> so <laughs> they're, like, they're kind of like um, not very like uh, friendly with like new uh, developers. Uh, uh, so one thing we need to know though is how do you sync your repositories? And so I think this is something that is, is um, uh, related, but like also outside of this change. And um, this can happen to, um, this happens every six months. And I know a few of you are like new R package developers, so maybe you haven't noticed this. So I'm gonna work with, let's see, uh, I'll work with this package, recount. Um, if I go to the commits for it, you'll notice that uh, not all of the commits were made by me. At some point here, um, GitHub user uh, J. Well, Katie uh, made a few commits for me. And so in my case, I already had them synced on, um, on github.com but maybe you don't have those um, commits synced. Um, so that will be the first thing you need to do. So if I go to uh, my local copy of it, you normally need to do git fetch all. Um, and so you'll notice here, it's like this pulls um, data from the origin remote as well as the upstream remote. If I type git remote, dash B for verbose, we can see that the origin remote is github.com and the upstream remote is git at biconductor.org. Okay. Um, so you need to make sure you, you pull your changes, um, anything that they have. Um, and normally you would like git merge and say like, I wanna merge anything from the what used to be the master branch on upstream into my uh, master branch on origin. Now, this command is not gonna work anymore. So we would go to the fact. Um, um, uh, I think it would be, we need to be like that. Um, where I merge changes from the devel branch on upstream into my origin branch. Now in this case, uh, my code was already synced, but um, in a few minutes, we'll, I'll ask Luis to do a screen share. And um, I think, let's, let's open track. Um, um, if we look at track, um, it doesn't have the November 2022 uh, commits that exist in git.bioconductor.org. Uh, so we'll, we'll definitely need to do this um, to keep track of data with Bioconductor. All right. So once, once you have everything synced, now we can go to change the default branch like they suggested. So uh, they said that you go to settings, and then there's a little um, edit button there um, where we can change things. So I'll go do that, settings, um, branches, and then I'm gonna edit that. I'm gonna rename master to develop. Cool. And that was easy to do on, on um, um, on GitHub, and then it tells me a few commands, which says like, "Hey, you should change. You should run these commands locally." So I'm just going to copy paste all of them. Um, doesn't seem to work as fast as I would would have hoped. 
Uh, so I'll, I'll try this in a few minutes and do other updates in the meantime. Um, so in theory, I guess in theory, this step should have been a lot easier, but it's taken a bit of time. Um, so the other thing I wanted to talk about is um, there's also some biocities updates that are new to several of you. So we go to the um, biocities website on their change log, we'll see some new things that happen, uh, particularly in version 1.70 on 192. So 192, that's easy. That's related to uh, last week, um, uh, where I was talking about uh, making um, uh, worship packages. Uh, there was actually a bug and like, um, I had to like change a lot of things. Um, and so, um, the last step for like trying to build this Docker image was not working. Um, and now it does work with like version 9, oh, 1.9.2. But we go further back in time to 1.70. Um, the main thing you'll notice is uh, there was this uh, changing of how our lib actions is being used. Um, and so you'll notice that because if I go to actions for recount, GitHub Actions, and let's say this last one, which I did. Um, um, actually, let me flip this one. Um, if we check the errors for it, um, it says like, hey, I'm trying to work with our lib actions, the master branch, and I'm unable to find it, <laughs> right? Um, and so, what happens here with GitHub Actions is that you're actually pulling code from other GitHub repositories. And before our leave Actions said like, hey, just use the master branch. Now they're actually using version numbers. Um, and so we need to, we need to use uh, version number two. Uh, so that, that was related to a bunch of different uh, fixes. Um, 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 and then there was also some errors related to creating packages on websites. So that also had to be changed. Um, uh, someone submitted a pull request for uh, using tiny test. Um, I updated that. Um, and then there was also another pull request of like, hey, can we change some of the templates? Can we? Uh, maybe change a bit of the text to, be, to make it more biconductor centric. So the feature request template, the issue template, and BIOC support, all three of those functions change. Um, then someone else submitted a pull request for adding more biconductor badges. And finally, if you look at this website for BIOCDs, you see that it has the biconductor colors. Whereas if we look for the, at the Recon website, um, it doesn't have any of those uh, biconductor colors. Um, and all of that is controlled by a CSS file that someone else gave to me um, that we can use. So there's a lot of like internal things that change. And so I'll start making all of those changes um, right now. And the easiest thing is to just look at, look at this uh, version 1.7 to remind ourselves of what, what are all the things that change. Let me see if we can fetch it. It's not fetching. And let's check what version of YCDs I have installed. Oh, I have the latest. Um, so with that, I'll load BioCities. And um, one of the first things we'll do is we'll use, um, we'll update the action. And we'll say that the package out of our branch will say it's the develop branch. Um, It asks whether you want to override the file, and I want to do that in this case. 
And so it will check on with um uh with git what are all the changes that happen underneath it. Uh we'll notice that now we're gonna be using R4.2 instead of 4.1 with Bioconductor 316 and also uh, using uh, the newer Ubuntu. Um, some things here changed from like, we're using checkout version two, now we're using version three. Our leaves actions, you can see before we're using the master branch, now we're using version two. Same thing for a set of Pandoc from our leaf actions. Um, so you can see a few of these things change. Um, we're changing the name of our key for, um, uh, for the cache. We're gonna install packages from 3.16. We're also saying like, hey, this should now run on the develop branch, no longer on the master branch. Um, now, I'll come back to this section in the middle, um, but like a lot of these changes are like, hey, check things on the develop branch of the master branch. You can see also that like how the package on website was built has now changed. And that has to do with like some errors that happened before. Um, so all of this is related to package down. Um, and then the Docker part, that changed a lot. That's based on what happened last week. <laughs> um, so like all the syntax for Docker changed because before I was using Docker build push action version one, which is now deprecated. Nowadays we're using version four, which has a bunch of other um, syntaxes. So you don't need to like, no, all of that. And normally, if you keep your things updated more often, you won't have as many changes. I'm coming back to this BIOC check. And that's because, in particular, for this package recount, I had turned off a lot of options. So, this is where, like, I can be useful to, um, to like, copy all of those options. Yeah. And let's open the file. Like, mm -hmm. That'll be on their GitHub workflows. Check by C. Um, eh, you got copy with like all the line numbers. Mm -hmm. This is the one part where we did not want to change it. Um, so let's check our version. And so I, I just saved it. And so we go back to GitHub, we can see, um, um, we can now see that, um, I mean, not GitHub to the Git, we can see like it no, it no longer shows up, right? That change. But here, let's say like uh, RAM by CDs, is by C GitHub action. Um, So at this point, uh, I'm gonna push it. And in theory, uh, oh, well, uh, uh, now I do get that warning that was renamed to develop. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out what's happening there. Um, cool. So that was one, uh, basically like this one, um, these two the bug fixes. Uh, but now we could also use, we can also update several templates. So for example, we can like change the, um, the, um, the colors by adding of our website, by, of our package down website by running this um, use by C package down function. So I'll first control that 
that has a legal CSS file that like, I won't get into it, but like that basically changes everything to the, these blues and greens that we see on the back of our website. Um, next, we have, um, I'll do the BIOC badges at the end, because that one involves a bit more editing. We'll use this function, feature template request. Um, so what this does is like, it creates a template for people if they submit an issue and that issue is an idea for a feature request. So it gives a guide for people to specify like what they should do, I mean, what they should provide to make it easy for you as a developer to, uh, to have the information you need. Um, then along those lines, we have the BIOS issue template. So I'll use that one too. This one already existed um, in the past. So I'm going to overwrite it. And if we look at the changes, um, I had uh, some links to specific examples of my code. And like people from back to were like, oh no, like let's just make it a bit more um, uh, a shorter message and more biconductor specific. Um, so they um, they made all these changes and because my conductor, um, receives a lot more issues than I do, they also provided this information about Bioconda, uh, because, uh, apparently that is, uh, something that they frequently have to help people debug with. Um, so I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll lean on your, um, advice. Um, Next, we have the BIOC support, it all, which also changed. Um, so I'm also going to overwrite the file. And uh, in particular, one of the things that was wrong was um, uh, it didn't have the link to the specific tag. So you can see here now, it's gonna include a link to the appropriate tag for the package. This was not properly uh, done before. So now like that link is actually correct. Um, um, so if you, if you want to, you can read in more detail like what are all the changes. And you could also, if you want to, you could even further edit the output right, um, of the support. So that's for like for people to know how to ask questions. Um, and so finally, we go to BIOC badges. So this was also added by a pull request. From, um, and what this does is that it edits your README file and adds a lot of badges. Now, some of these already kind of existed. Um, so it's a lot easier for new package authors than uh, existing package authors to use this function. Because you, you need to like go and like check which of the badges are now duplicated. Um, um, so I had these two about the build status that I, uh, that got changed by these ones. Um, Um, we also had the support one. Um, what else? Um, I think that's about it. You can change the order too. Um, but now because I, I, um, updated the readme. So we remember on the dev directory, we have this 
0.04 update. And one of the steps we need to do is see if we update the readme, we need to rebuild it. Um, and so this can take a bit of time depending on like how much you're doing on your readme file. Um, uh, so we'll let that run and I'll try to hit fetch again. Um, using this syntax of git push dash u origin devel, I think has finally linked my devel local branch with the GitHub devel branch. Um, and at this point, I think we can push to both origin and also upstream. Upstream is, um, if you remember, uh, upstream is the git dot .org location. Uh, oh, looks like the readme uh, finalized updating. So we can say, so at this point, um, at this point, recap has been updated. Um, you know, there's a bunch of new commits. Um, has been updated to for the default branch to be developed, no longer master. It's linked to the develop uh, branch on uh, gate.bikeconductor.org. And I've also updated um, everything related to BioCDs. Um, although, for some reason it's failing, so I'll, I'll need to double check that later. Um, oh, it's waiting for jobs. Maybe I pushed too many. Start of failing. Oh, there's an error. Line. So oh, I noticed your least a little quote. What did you miss? Placing a single code. See if you get an action going on. Right. So, I mean, I'll take quite a bit of time to get an updated uh, package down and all of that. But um, uh, I mean, now it's actually running. Um, cool. So with that, I'm going to stop screen sharing and we'll go to Luis to try it out live. Well, cool. I think I caught this, that. So um, yeah, like Leo said, I've been, I have like one package actually on BioC, which is Treg, and then I have another one in development, which is Decombo Buddies, and they've both been failing the actions like right away because of the like they're like can't find master branch. So I had remembered that we had updated to the main branch. Um, like I like when when basically GitHub had switched like their syntax to main rather than master. That had been a little update that we had to do. So then like again with um now with this update for devel which i like because that kind of like fits with like the um i guess like like leo said like it fits with like how bioc talks about like their updates so i think that that like tracks and is nice so i'm glad that they made this update but let's see if i can actually fix it in these packages so let me share my screen um okay 
So if I remember correctly, the first step is going to be editing uh, the you need brand. To sync your repository first. Oh, what was that? You need to sync your repository first. Oh, okay. Um, uh, no, 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 not on fork. We go to your terminal. Right. Um, if you type git space um, fetch space dash all dash before the all. Now enter. Here we need to, uh, oh, sorry, with two dashes. Uh, we need to download the changes from both um, uh, git.myconductor.org as well as github.com. I mean, you were synced with github.com, but you were not synced with uh, with um, git.myconductor.org. Okay. And so now we need to merge our changes with like the changes from GitHub. So type git merge. That's the thing that I was saying, like you had to do, but I didn't have to do because I was already synced. Oh. Okay, uh, okay. And then uh, upstream forward slash dbell. So we want to sync. Uh, yeah, press enter. Leo, can you remind me why we had to do that? Um, I guess, oh boy, this is. You need to do it because you're not the only one that has any powers on git.bioconductor.org for your package. All the bioconductor admins can also edit your package directly. And so they made a few commits directly. Um, can you zoom the screen, uh, uh, Luis? Yeah. Uh, Luis, can, 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 you, can you make it a bit bigger? Bit, bit, bit. Yeah, is that better? Thank you. OK. Um, sorry, I have to use my Nemesis uh, Vim here for a second. Um, how do I get out of here? Escape. And then it's uh, what? Colon, colon. WQ. OK, awesome. Um, All right. So now you can get push space origin. No, no, we don't have the dashes. Origin. So what this is doing, if we go to uh, github.com for your package, uh, refresh it. Uh, and now we go to commits um, on the right side, a little bit further down. Yeah, if you click on that, you'll notice that now we have these commits from November 1st, oh, not on that. <laughs> Uh, you'll notice that now we have these commits from November 1st that uh, the GitHub user J. Will Katie uh, made for you on your package. Okay. So uh, every six months, Bioconductor makes this type of commits. If you scroll further down, we can see the ones from April. Um, uh, in that case, it was Nitesh Turaga, GitHub username and Turaga, who made those uh, commits. So this is a uh, step that sometimes people miss where you need to keep your package in sync with like what what um, people are also editing on git.bioconductor.org. Okay. Uh, sometimes if like if bioconductor, for example, let's say the bioconductor changes summarize experiment and that's a dependency for you. Um, and they, uh, they might even, even go into your package and fix it for you. Uh, so sometimes they can make a lot more commits than just these, these uh, automatic ones. So at this point, you're now ready to like update your uh, default branch. All right. So yeah, in Louis's case, it was called main. Now we're now we're going to change it to develop just to be in sync. Cool. So if you go to you click on track on the left side, yeah. Uh, now, we know now by experience that <laughs> you need to like run each of these commands one at a time. <laughs> okay. Because of what, from what happened in my computer. Okay, I'm going to put this on my other monitor um, and copy these over one at a time then. 
So All the right. first one here just created, uh, just renamed the main branch that you have locally as the bell. That's what it, that's what that first command did. All right, then we're fetching the origin again. Yeah, so in your case, it did fetch origin devel. In my case, it didn't. Okay, cool. I don't know why. Okay, so then the <laughs> branch one, so this. Um, this one is the one that was failing for me. Okay. Which is like, now we want the local devel branch, which um, is this devel over here. We want that to be linked to the GitHub develop branch. All right. And then remote set head. All right, so we're good to go as far as Git does. And then is there anything that I can like, I guess like, uh, like over here, we can see that it's devel right now instead of main. Uh, if you type git status, you can see it. Awesome. Up to date with origin devel. Cool. Okay. Um, and then we have nothing to push or anything. Right branch, on your local branch devel, and it's up to date with that version. Perfect. Um, so we don't have anything to push or anything. That's like, that's just done. That just like synced the two parts of the devel. So the next step was doing the BioC, um, BioC actions, right? Yes. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. You need to make sure you have the latest BioCDs installed. So I don't know what version you have of BioCDs. So now go to your console. I already I just checked when we were going. Um, we were doing that. So I have nine two. Um, so BioC this, and then were there any? Um... It's it's use underscore BioC. GitHub. Okay. GitHub actions, and then uh, there's no uh, arguments, right? Just the default? Uh, no, we do need to change one. Okay. Package down, cup our branch. So just type package and then uh, type tab of autocomplete. The second one, just call it uh, devel in quotes. Okay. And that's going to change and then three I agree. And then we can see what it changed. Um, yeah, so it updates all these versions 315 to 316. And then check out v3, right? Mm -hmm. And then this master to v2, rather. Um, so this was what it wasn't finding before, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then there was like a chunk of settings that you changed that was like false to true. Yeah, which maybe you maybe you won't have. We'll see. This wasn't it, right? Like the this these are just like swapped. Mm -hmm. Display nine nine. That's all the package down stuff, and then the Docker stuff. So, uh, because of what I we noticed live, I have actually a type of bio CD, so I need to like update it. Okay. So if you, if you close this, then open the file. So go to dot GitHub workflows, check bio C. Scroll all the way to the end. And then uh, we need to edit a few lines. So 347, can you can you make um, your window wider on the on the yeah? So I'm missing a quote, a single quote at the end of the eval there on line 347. And also if you scroll further up uh, on line 333, 329. 325, 319, I'm missing that simple quote. So I messed up the temp, I missed, I missed the quote on the template. Uh -huh. <laughs> is this oh, space here okay? Yeah, yeah. that's space. It's just, uh, yeah. Okay, so it's like all of these spots? Yeah, cool. Okay, I'll, 
I'll get rid of the space just for. Oh. <laughs> All right. Put more typos in. Okay, so those were those were the typos we had to fix. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So now you can commit this file. Oh boy. It's 1.9.2. No, it doesn't, it doesn't like that I'm typing here. That's 0.9.2. I guess I'll put this at the end actually. So instead of pushing there, go to your terminal. Because we need to push these changes to both um, origin, that's github.com, as well as um, upstream, which is git.backend.org. Okay. So that, that git push Oops. origin, then um, um, what is it? Um, Call no, it's um, uh, I'm blanking on the word in English. Semicolon. Semicolon. <laughs> <laughs> then space git push uh, upstream. Thank you. <laughs> um. So, Leo, do I have to do this? I only have to do this this once, or like, like every single time you push. Okay. Otherwise, Otherwise, if you're just using the RCD interface, you're only pushing to GitHub. You're not pushing to to my conductor. Okay. Okay. So, like for Deconvo buddies, which I I'm just developing and isn't on Bioconductor, I can just get push, right? So, like, mm -hmm. okay. So this is because it's on Bio Bioconductor that I need to do the upstream. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. You notice that. If you if you make your window a bit bigger so we can see the full log, um, just click on the on the. Uh, yeah. Is that? Yeah. So after you type git push origin and then also git push upstream, mm -hmm. you can see that it pushed to origin. Um, it like pushed a total of five commits. Um, uh, but then when it pushed to upstream, it looks like you haven't, you hadn't updated upstream in a while. Yeah. So you pushed 17 at the end. Okay. Wait, I'm okay. Total 17 down here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I had definitely been missing doing that when mm -hmm. I fixed a couple of things. Um, so that, that'll be good for, that was a good re re refresher to do that. Um, and then we had to update. Uh, there is some other things with like the website and the badges too, right? Well, you haven't saved your um, check by a CYAML file. Oh, no. Oh, did I just push it without the... Maybe the, without the type of fixes? Yeah, yeah. this fixes the typos. <laughs> Okay, so this time I do that again, and it'll just be the one delta. Or, uh, I guess I don't know why it says five. Anyway, it fixes this. <laughs> okay, cool. I, I thought the five was uh, was the number of commits, but it, it, it isn't. Um, okay. Number of changes. I don't know. Okay. It only it pushes four hundred sixty eight bytes. So you can <laughs> like if we if we scroll further up, we can see that one of them was bigger in bytes than the other one, right? Yes, yeah, so this is the first one. 
2.37 kilobytes versus 4.15 kilobytes. So you were definitely missing some some commits on Biconductor. Yeah. Cool. Um, so it looks like this is actually running for more than one minute on my actual GitHub Actions, which is great because they used to just oh, fail right away. We'll see that. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, cool. So this is so, actually, uh, well, okay, it just got started, but it's working on it. The other one failed right away, like they have been. But we got a different error, so that's good. <laughs> Mac fails. Invalid workflow title. Okay, so that was the typo, right? Um, sorry, I was looking at mine. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yes, this is working on it. Okay, cool. And then we needed to do, there was the the website update, right? Yeah, there's a few, if you go to the um, uh, the change log for BioCities, that's the easiest like um, guide for what we need to do, right? Okay. So uh, if you scroll a bit further down, right, um, cool. Yeah. So there's this function there, the badges, and then the tree function. This, these three functions there, right? Mm -hmm. um, eh, that last one was pretty bad. Uh, uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so, um, all right, I'm going to move this over again. Um, there are our functions, not terminal functions. Oh. Um, no arguments, right? Just mm -hmm. no arguments for any of these ones. All right. And then this was this is the colors for the website. Yeah. Looks okay. You have a typo. Well, oh, too late. <laughs> <laughs> um and then the badges and the badges was the one you edited right yeah that's the one that takes a bit of time um so if you now you need to open the readme file readme rmd to edit it before you don't commit it because otherwise you're going to have duplicated badges okay um, so development tool they're right there at the top right oh yeah yeah so you can delete um you can delete line 21 um man i think that's basically it for you you didn't have a lot of batches no, wasn't as fancy as, as yours. Um, okay. And then I also want to build the readme, right? Mm -hmm. And so if you want to find the command for that, that's under the dev directory. Or, I mean, yeah. we can type it manually. So I don't know. I forget how long your readme takes to compile. Uh, it's got a couple, of, it takes a second. I don't, it's going to take extra long for us now that we're on, on the Zoom. There we go. Um, and now you can make the commit for it. All right, great. And then the request template and the issue template, right? Are those easy ones? Mm -hmm. yeah. All of those, I, we can basically, I mean, they're, they might override files, but like, 
um, I, that I wouldn't recommend changing anything. I mean, you want you can if you want to. For example, you could be like, "Hey, you have any help? Here's my email." <laughs> okay. But I, I don't like doing that. <laughs> I don't, I like people asking questions publicly so that people can benefit from the answers. Okay, wait. Before I do that, I'm gonna commit this one. You can just, I mean, I did it like piecemeal, but you can do it as a big commit if you want. To. And then, then I guess what is different here? Trying to trying to go fast. Um, all right, so like these these are all changes that we feel good about. Mm -hmm. Um, and then bio C support. And then do that one doesn't does that need to be knit? No, that's already. No, that's you don't even need any of those. They're all um, regular markdown files. And then oh, the, the last thing was tiny test, but we don't really have. That's that was just a support for people that use tiny test. Okay. You don't yeah, use I don't it. that. Okay, so then we will want to commit origin and upstream. A push, yeah. Push it. Cool. Awesome. Shrek should be updated and we'll see what happens.